happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. And in solution, Kate. In out of the box. Hello, and welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us with Retechus, this is the TR621. It's a CD boombox with tape player, AM FM radio, MP3 player, all for about 50 to 56 bucks from Amazon. So yeah, it comes in this brown box, Retechus with the big R, awesome. Like in their products lately, here's an illustration of the CD boombox. Over here we have tape, radio, CD, TF card, USB. Nice. Let's move this box around. We got the label there on the side. And on the back, I believe there's some contact information. Uh, there you go. So email, need report, uh, support, go ahead and email them there. And a QR code probably takes you to their website. All right, so I took everything out of the box to make it easier. So let me move this out of the way. And... We'll show you what came in the box. First thing we get is the AC cord. This radio will run off of AC or 6D cell batteries. This is a nice cord. I haven't used it yet. I've been using the batteries, but uh, nice to have. Great. Next, they give us a remote control. Yay. It's kind of nice to have. Uh, we have mute program. We have all your CD and SD card functions here. Pause, play, skip forward, skip back. You can't operate the tape player or radio, just the CD player and the SD card player. There's the numeric entry for direct track access. Looks like we can skip 10 and a repeat function there. I think it's repeat one song over and over, repeat all, or repeat off. So yeah, pretty simple. Comes with a battery. I kind of wish it had volume control um, or on off, but uh, it's okay. Works in a pinch. We'll use that later. All right, next we have the manual. It is the CD boombox with AM, FM, radio, T, TR621. Yeah, so that a few times already. But uh, it's pretty basic. You're not going to need this really. I just want to make sure you don't zap yourself with the AC power. So don't take apart your radio and see what's on the inside. <laughs> There's some uh, features in case I miss something. I'll try to go over most of this. It's pretty simple. There's the remote control I showed you. There's the LCD display. Look at that closely. It has a repeat function there showing uh, programming, track function, pause play. Nice. Up here we have uh, operation remote control, CD operation. There you are. Okay, pretty basic stuff here. USB. I think the it supports up to 32 gigabytes. I have a 16 gigabyte in mine. We'll go over that and here's some more information for you. Okay, and then over here we have specifications. Interesting thing, interesting thing to note is it's two kilograms without batteries, <laughs> so it weighs a little bit. Um, there you go. It's got expanded. It looks like FM is 76 to 108. There we go. And then basic safety precautions here. So it's a pretty simple manual. Boom. Okay, we're done with the manual. Let's get to the radio. Yeah, I have this tripod way high because it's not a little radio. It has some good weight to it. <laughs> Put this handle down. Nice. So there it is. Retechus TR621. This thing's awesome. It does all your media playing for you. But like I said, it barely fits on the screen here. So let's go ahead and do dimensions. We're 10 inches in length. We're 8.5 inches in depth. And we have a height from top to bottom of 5.5 inches. To give you an idea from the front view. There you go. Awesome. So let's go ahead and we'll do a size comparison here. Uh, what do I have on the table? I always have something handy like a CC Skywave. I have a CC pocket. There you go. Cool stuff. And then, of course, last but not least, we have Iron Man. He's the man with the master plan. He can spin it like no one can. He loves CD player boom boxes from Retechus Land. He's Iron Man. Yeah, you can fit a bunch of deck of cards with this radio. <laughs> so, okay. So, let's talk about features of the Retechus TR621. Uh, we'll look at the top here. We have a built-in handle. I really like this. It sits flush with the radio. Uh, nice setup. I do like that. Left-hand side, we have a headphone jack. I usually like talking about the headphone experience. Uh, so let's go ahead and talk about this. We have no low-level hiss, which is great. Uh, this is very strong lows. So if you like bass, you'll love this. Decent mids and okay highs. 
Just so you know, this radio is FM mono. There's no FM stereo receiver on this radio. Even though you have dual speakers on the front and the stereo headphone jack, it does not play back in stereo when you're on the FM radio mode. Um, that's one thing I hope they improve. Or I guess if you're watching at FM stereo this radio, it'll be a big improvement. You'll sell more units, uh, definitely. I bought it mainly for the CD player and the SD card player. It's amazing for that, um, absolutely. Uh, also note that this uh, audio jack here, the headphone jack, will have the CD player in stereo, the SD card plays in stereo, and I assume the tape deck plays in stereo. I don't have any music tapes, but it should. Um, here you will see the SD card slot, which is pretty neat. Well, a little door hiding it. It's kind of neat right here. You'll notice there's a USB uh, port and the SD card slot, so you can choose either one. I'm using a 16 gig uh, SD card in there pre-installed. Um, it doesn't come with it, of course, but it sits nice and flush after you close it. I like that. Nothing's sticking up. Perfect. Uh, volume control, pretty basic. Nothing fancy there. Our tuning knob for AM and FM. You'll see the AM 530 to 1600, and then you'll see FM 76 to 108. Our tape player functions are pretty basic. We have pause, stop, eject, fast forward, rewind, play, and record in that order. So let's go ahead and go to the left-hand side of this radio. We have a function switch. Uh, right now it's on tape off. Go to the left, it's radio. If you go to the right, it's CD, USB, and trans flash or SD card. Pretty neat setup. Right-hand side of the radio, we have the band select for the AM FM radio. And you'll see on each side, there is a three inch speaker for nice audio. This is really good fidelity. I'm pretty impressed with the overall sound quality this produces. And on the front here, you'll see the LCD display marked with a power LED indicator. We have the infrared remote sensor. You'll notice there's repeat functions, programming, uh, all the stuff you'd had on the remote is on here also. Skip forward, pause, play, stop. Yeah, skip back, repeat. That's all there. Uh, the tape deck, uh, to open it, of course, you hit up here. Let's show you that. There you go. I got a tape in there, which will demo. There you go. And of course, record if you have a tape you can record on right there. All right. So also I want to note that little spot right there is the microphone. So right now, if you had a blank tape and you hit record, it would start recording the audio uh, in the room. So let's go ahead and move this to the back side if I can. This thing is just a tank. <laughs> All right, so we got a vented back here, probably because it generates some heat when you're on AC. And there is our AC plug-in with our label. There you are. And our antenna there, it's kind of hidden with the handle down. So you have to lift that handle to, to raise that antenna. And the antenna goes to 16 and a half inches. We will do an FM band scan today. Yes, I'm going to tune the FM band. <laughs> People uh, know that I don't normally do that. But for this radio, we're going to screw the FM band. Just can't hover on the music too long. So we'll give it a go. Um, so that's that. That's all the features. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, we'll turn it on and hear what it sounds like. So I'm going to use the SD card slot to demo some music. And then uh, once that's over, we'll demo the CD player, the tape player, and then we'll pretty much do final thoughts. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Okay, we're all the way forward. Bring it forward. You can see the front. Got our track information. Another note thing, another thing to note is when you're playing your SD card or your CD player, it does not remember what track you were on, unfortunately. Don't know why. Turn the radio off, turn it back on. It doesn't remember if you're on second track or fourth track, it automatically sets it back to one. Um, yeah, it's kind of an issue if you got an SD card with like a thousand files and you were jamming away and you weren't sure where you were when you stopped. <laughs> so something to keep in mind with this radio here. So let's demo a few songs. I'm gonna kind of hold it here. Now this is playing in stereo, which is nice, sounds great. I have a mono microphone attached here, so you're not gonna pick up the stereo, but trust me, the separation sounds really good.
pause it, play it. Fast forward. basic idea what that sounds like it's off the SD card um, still playing you get the stop button here stop the playback um, showing you 38 files on the card okay so pretty neat let's go ahead and uh, show you the CD player and then we'll play that so let's go ahead and turn that off so you just push this springs up uh, your CD player you just uh, pretty much grab it from the center here pop your disc out and then of course put it back in you just kind of put it by the spindle and press it in pretty simple cd player there um yeah for legacy media it's great um if you have a lot of cds this is the best so go ahead and close that again you can use a remote control which i'm going to do um it's only two tracks on this cd though <laughs> so let's go ahead and pull, switch uh forward towards the radio once it goes into cd mode it should say cd on the front there you go here loading up Box 13, with the star of Paramount Pictures, Alan Ladd, as Dan Holliday. Box 13, Care of Star Times. You advertised for adventure? I have it for you. If you will go any place, I can offer Paris. If you will do anything, you are the man I need. If you're interested, call at my office any day between the hours of 10 a.m. and... Any day between the hours of 10 a.m. and noon. I am at 247 Wabash Place, signed William Martin. Pretty neat. We'll go to the next track. Broadway's My Beat, from Times Square to Columbus Circle, the gaudiest, the most violent, the lonesomest mile in the world. So you get an idea, it's pretty neat, uh, plays music CDs wonderfully, like I say, CD, uh, stereo, stereo output on these speakers sounds fantastic, um, so there it is. So that's the simple CD function. Again, a basic. The CD player will play burned uh, CDs with MP3 files on them, which is nice too. So we'll go ahead and stop it with the remote. And we're gonna open, put this down and show you the tape player. So the tape player is pretty basic. I just realized I could stand that radio up from the back. That was nice. <laughs> Learn that later, of course. Um, your functions here, again, we went over them. Um, we can eject this. It's just simple with the tape. 
pull it out, slide it in. Right now I got Lucille Ball in here. So yeah, you know I like my old time radio. So I have some of these tapes. And then we'll go ahead and just hit play. Play that. And it should start here. Unless I'm on the wrong track. Hang on one second. Yeah. Didn't you tell me you were moving your office over here? Why should I? I notified the Commissioner of Licenses. Yeah, but you didn't notify me. I like to know these things, too. I've taken a professional and personal interest in you. I promised my friends in San Francisco to see that you didn't get into mischief. You're an impulsive youth, you know. Look, I got a fast shuffle out west. All I'm asking is a fair chance to work up a legitimate business. I'm playing this by the book, and I won't even trip over a comma. I hope not. Okay, Gold. I'll see you around, I guess. It's nearly six o'clock, Mr. Gold. I'll leave, too, if there's nothing else. There is something else. Oh? Would you mind having dinner with me? Is this part of the job? It is tonight. Working conditions are certainly looking up around here. And party your nose, honey, and let's go. So there you go. Pretty basic tape player. Loving that. Yeah, main reason why I got this media player. Legacy. CD. Tape. And of course you could have SD if you'd like. I mean, it's, that's the big thing. Now the radio. Um, I noticed the AM band has a little bit of a snap, crackle, pop on some of the stronger stations, especially in the evening. During the day, I was tuning it, and I could mitigate that popping sound a little bit by tuning it. So let's go ahead and go to the radio here. Make sure you have the selection proper. <laughs> I had it on CD when I tried to play the tape. That was fun. Okay, so radio. We'll switch it to AM band. Maybe this one. By the way, when your bit doesn't work calling into us, it's not our fault that your bit didn't work. Surely you don't want to miss out on this. I could be proud. Well, let me tell you a story. We went to the box game. All your favorite ES. Young players to buy in because they're young and they haven't proven that much. But I think it's been such it's been huge for the Bulls to see Thaddeus Young and Garrett Temple and the veterans of the Bulls. I just wonder from a coaching perspective, how did you approach that? And how... So that, that little cracking sound or crackling sound, that happens at night quite a bit. So during the day, though, this sounds much better on the AM band because you can tune that off. Well, it, it, it's so much different than college, right? When you, when you have a freshman that comes in, are 65 and older who, one, have difficulty getting to a vaccination site, and number two... They may not be able to navigate the Uber app. Uh, what do you say to those people or the friends and relatives of people like that, Robert? Uh, well, to friends and relatives, strongly encourage them to, to work with their rep. Conference of Catholic Bishops has concluded getting the COVID-19 vaccine is an... We look at the Dow up already 282 points. It's above its closing high at 32,100 and get 20% off your first order. That's B-O-M-B-A-S dot com. So it is uh, the morning, about 9 o'clock in the morning, Central Standard Time. So I'm doing a, kind of a daytime scan. Add something more to the list. You know, how close are those estimates? I didn't tease that knowing we were going to get the peak story. <laughs> Okay, that gives an idea there. Let's go ahead and go to the FM band. So yeah, expect in the evening, you'll pick up stations pretty far. I was picking up uh, Toronto, no problem with this. 
about 500 miles away, 600 miles away on average. Uh, and those stations came in really good. The stronger stations, they, they had a little of that crackling, as you heard on 720 there. Um, it's it's an okay experience on the AM band, uh, so don't expect a ton. But the FM is pretty decent. So the FM reception, I usually do a report on it. Um, just expect it to be okay to good, two and a half stars. So I go fair, okay, good, very good, excellent. This found 55 stations when I tested it. That puts it right in that average category, like an analog radio. It's not bad. It sounds decent. Um, selectivity is halfway good also, which is also two and a half stars. Again, basic FM radio, but it sounds good. So we're going to go ahead and tune to the bottom or bottom or so, because our band starts around here. Um, and we're going to go ahead and extend an antenna on the back. So you have to lift the handle up. It swivels, which is nice. And this is 16 and a half inches. So you got to love that. So let's go ahead and tap back down. I don't know if I can do the, yeah, I guess I could lay the radio down, but I'm not going to do it with this part. I don't want to bend that antenna. So let's go ahead and switch it to FM here on the side. There we go. We'll tune the FM band. You gotta hold it. Holding will be good. Chasing the clouds away. With trees and clean air. Here's Harriet Washington again. Look at the data. They tell us that. Take your 15 to 30 minute window to go see the house um, with your. Tu słuchałem przez lata mądrych ludzi. The life may not be easy. All on one plan. Hey, you're making the rules here. Oh, oh, oh. Rock 95.5. Relax. It's just traffic. No. Relax. You've done it. Now go. For That's only. Microband 24 protects against step. Check. Defense and Americanism. These four pillars shape our work and what we do for America. We work relentlessly within our four pillars of service. And hiatus or you know vacation. You running out of chance at the new meeting. This life is less important than mine because it's not. But I mean with me. Vaccinados contra el COVID-19 en el United Okay, there you go. There's our fun band scan. Sweet. Yeah, it sounds really good in person. Um, even though it's not stereo separated, um, it does sound halfway decent though. Hopefully you got a little bit of experience through the microphone there. Nice. Put the antenna down. We'll go ahead and do some final thoughts on this radio. And uh, yeah, let me go ahead and kick this off here. Make sure I don't have that on. Okay, so the Retech is TR621. Is this something for you? Is it? Yeah. So let's answer some questions. Um, this is for the person who wants legacy media uh, playback. CD player number one. Uh, of course, having stereo separation with the speakers aimed at that, like, what, 45-degree angle is really nice. Instead of forward-facing, this 
adds more spacious sound to the stereo when it's playing. It's very enjoyable to listen to, uh, especially with the AC cord plugged in. Just plays your CD all day long. Um, switching it out when you get tired of the one. I'm, I don't know if you're like me, but I like listening to like one CD. You know, I like to keep playing it for days sometimes. <laughs> it's just me. Ain't not music. Um, then you get your SD card slot if you want to add a little extra stuff, you know, programming. I have old-time radio shows on here also. So, yeah, I'm pretty decked out. I'm ready to go. If the power goes out, I'll be able to entertain myself for quite a while with this radio. Um, of course, your tape deck here. If you're big into recording and making mixed tapes, my wife wanted me to make one for her. <laughs> I think she was joking, I hope. Um, maybe not. When when women mention something, you got to do it. Just surprise them. Um, so yeah, record. You can record off of the CD player, the SD card slot, the radio, and then that microphone. So it's also pretty neat if you're into recording. And then, of course, if you burn your own CDs still, if that's still a thing for you, it will read MP3s. Pretty neat setup. Do you like the built-in handle? Again, I like the AC operation. It runs on 6D cells. I didn't show you the bottom, but uh, let's show you that real quick. It uh, is a pretty big opening for the door. Let's see if I can show you. So yeah, just they lay in there really nice. I'd open it up, but it's very difficult on camera. You got four little rubber feet uh, and some cautionary stuff. But yeah, that the whole bottom opens up there. You got 6D cells. Right now I'm running some rechargeables in there. Um, so it does add some weight to this radio when you're running batteries. If you're just going to plug it in all day, then just leave the batteries out. Um, that, that's something I would do. Uh, so yeah, overall, uh, that's what this radio is geared towards. So it gets a maybe purchase around the $50 mark, $56 mark. If it dropped down in price, say this became like a $35 radio or for some reason, $35, $40, then I would say it's a pick for almost everybody because you got the FM AM radio here. Um, and you got those extra features. It does sound good on stereo with the CD and SD card. Just love it. And of course, you have the old tapes. <laughs> you can play them away. And at that price point, this thing rocks. Um, but I don't know if it'll ever get that cheap. So around 50 56 just for those guys with legacy media, it's really going to make them happy. Um, as far as for a stereo radio, you might be able to find a Sony out there. Maybe on the used marketplace, it might sound better. Because since this doesn't have FM stereo, uh, something to think about. Uh, things I wish this had. Um, I wish it had Bluetooth. Um, it's pretty obvious uh, in this day and age that everybody uses their smartphones to play their music, and it'd be nice to have this have Bluetooth. You could have this poolside or backyard or campsite. You could have your phone off to the side uh, broadcasting to this because this would sound fantastic with the stereo speakers. It's got some good amplifier in there, um, so I don't know why Bluetooth was omitted. It doesn't cost much to add that module. Um, be cool to see it in there. So if you guys update this radio, Retech us if you're watching, that'd be one to add. Another thing I would like to see added to this is auxiliary in. A simple thing uh, you see in a lot of radios still today. Um, I have old MP3 players I like to use, and I can load those players up. They have a better user interface, and uh, have it plugged in and have it sounding good again. Stereo output, um, that would be a no-brainer. So auxiliary in, love to see that. Uh, what else would I like to see on here? Um, volume control in the remote. Yes, I wish it had volume on this. That'd be nice and on-off, um, but it does not. Uh, that would be nice. And of course, the major thing is bass trouble controls right here. That'd be nice. Two little knobs. You could turn the bass up and turn it down, adjust it. Now, right now, the audio is fairly balanced for all the different media types. But you're going to run into that problem where you don't want a bit more bass in that uh, Van Halen tune you're listening to. <laughs> you know, or whatever you're into, your hip hop. So it would be nice to have bass and trouble or your classical music. Turn that trouble up. Um, just those things would be nice. Bass trouble, I, I do miss that. I wish I'd had that on here. But overall, it gets a maybe purchase in my book. So hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a like if you did. It's a pretty cool setup. Little mini boombox. My first ever. It's just, I don't review them because, yeah, they're re relatively large to put on camera. So I'm not going to actively get these because, you know, they take up space too in the house. My wife will kill me if I start reviewing boomboxes. <laughs> Got to keep the radios on the smaller side if possible. Um, yes, and of course, if you like Retechus brand radios, I do a lot of reviews on the radios. So, you know, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon, get notified of future reviews and band scans. And of course, three, comment below what you think about this TR621. Is it something you would consider um, at this price point? Do you like all the features I showed you? Do you like the fact that it runs an AC, uh, DC operation? Do you like the CD player? Do you like the tape player? Are these things you would use or is this too retro for you? <laughs> Let me know. All right, guys, take care, and we'll see you at my next video.